Hello again. I'd like to continue our discussion of this weather app thing here. And uh, so far, you know, I've got my I've got my weather app here, and uh, I've added this button at the bottom here. And my goal right now is to tap this button and have a small dialog box appear. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to create a, a dialog box with a, a field where you can type in a city name and then enter the city name, and then we'll get the weather for the city. And in the last video, we tied an IB action to the button here, and our IB action is this uh, city button tapped right here, and that's in our, um, in our view controller.swift. And, you know, if we, if we test this again, you'll see that the IB action is just going to print the message, you know, you tap the city button. So, uh, so here we'll launch the app and give that a quick test. And when I tap the city button here, you can see it says you tap the city button. So we know that that's working. Okay, so now my goal is to get the um, an alert box to show up, and so there's a couple things that we want to do here. Okay, so um, uh, Coco Touch includes a class that will generate an alert box for us, a standard alert box. And so we don't, there isn't a lot of work we need to do. There's just a few things, so it's pretty easy to do. Um, but how are we going to arrange it here? Um, we can put all the code inside this function here for the IB action, but that makes the, the code only available for this button right here for this action. And we might only be calling the code here, but if, if we were calling the code somewhere else, so, you know, let, let me just mock that up here, you know, um, display alert, right? So, oops, let's spell that right. Display alert, right? So let's imagine that this comment stands in for the code that's actually going to display the alert box. And if I put that code here, it's only going to display the alert box when you tap this button. So if we wanted to display the alert box in some other way, we'd have to duplicate this code in some other location, right? So I think better for us is to create a function, right? So, um, Let's say, let's call it display city alert. Okay, so we'll write our own function here. And then what we can do right here is we can call on the display city alert from here, right? And that gives us the option to call on this, um, this alert um, function here from somewhere else, right? So if we wanted to display this alert box in another location or for some other action, then we can do that also. So having the code separated here also organizes it a little bit better, okay? So when you tap on this, we're going to call in this function. And right now, nothing's going to happen. So how do we get the alert box to show up? Okay, so there's a couple steps here. They're pretty easy. So the first step is to um, create an alert controller. So I'm going to say let alert equal UI alert controller, okay? And what I'm doing here is I'm typing in the first part of the name for the function, and I'm waiting for the, um, you know, for the code hints to give me the right name, and then when I see the right name, and I'm going to make sure that I get the right one, because, you know, UI alert controller is different from UI alert controller style, right? So, don't accidentally, you know, hit the return key too quickly and get the wrong function name. I, I would never do that, right? Um, but anyway, so uh, so I'm going to hit return there. And then I'll hit parentheses here. And there's a couple options here. UI alert controller, UI alert controller coder, nib name, title. And we want the one down here with title, okay? So I'm going to choose UI alert controller. And then, you know, if this isn't on the right one, we can use the arrow keys and you know, scroll to the right option there, and then we'll hit return. And now you can see, you know, Xcode fills in all the, the code that goes inside the parentheses for us, and it gives us these little areas that are highlighted in blue where we need to fill in some information, okay? So the first part here, this, the title, 
is a string. So that's the type of information. So a string always goes in the quotes. So we'll put the quotes here. And this is the title of our alert box. So I'll type in city. And then the message here, and you can hit the tab key. So if you hit the tab key on the keyboard, um, Xcode will jump to the next little blue area that you need to fill in. So I'll hit the tab key. And uh, this is a string also, and this is the message. So I'll say, you know, enter city name. And then let me scroll over here a little bit further, right? And uh, here's another one. I'll hit the tab key again. You can also just click on that, you know. Um, and if you want to go backwards, you can do shift tab. Okay. We don't, I don't have another one of these blue ones on this side, but if we did, it would have gone back to there. And uh, what I want to do is I want to put in the style for the alert controller. Okay. And the alert controller can come in one of two styles. Okay. Um, and those styles, essentially, it's just a string or a name for the style, but it's defined in the program. So we're going to use the definition in the program. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to select this one here and then hit return. And that's actually going to, you know, just print the text that's here because that's the name of the class that we want, right? And that class has some properties in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say UI alert controller style. And then on the end, I'm going to say dot, or I'm going to hit the dot, and it's going to give me a list of UI alert controller styles. And there's two. There's action sheet and alert. Okay, so I'm going to choose alert here. And then you can see that, uh, let me make this a little bit bigger here. Let me, wait, I wanted to do just the opposite there. Okay, and you can see that here I have, you know, let alert equal UI controller style, title is city, messages enter city name preferred style is ui alert controller dot alert okay and this um this last parentheses we need to type that so if i if i just move over it with the arrow key or type it then it'll put it in there it, you saw it a second ago it was kind of a gray that means it's not quite complete so we gotta write over that so i'm going to hit the arrow the arrow key to move the cursor over it and it'll print it and then i'll hit return okay and there we go so there's our alert box. Now, nothing's going to happen yet. There's a couple things we need to do, okay? So just to get the, the alert to display, we'll have to say self, okay? And self, in this case, is our view controller, okay? Because this file right here is a UI view controller, right? And UI view controllers can display other view controllers. And this UI alert controller is another view controller. It's just a special kind, okay? So anytime, you know, you have another view controller, this view controller can display it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say self dot present view controller. Now, there's a couple here. It says present presentation view controller, presented view controller, presenting view controller, and present view controller. And all four of these are different. So make sure you don't choose the wrong one. And the one that you want here is present view controller, okay? And then it should have some options, view controller to present, view controller, you know, animated, and completion. So I'll, I'll select this one, hit return. And the view controller to present for us is going to be the alert view. So I'll type in alert because that's our alert view controller that we created up here. And then do we want to present the view controller animated? That means it'll animate onto the screen rather than just appear there. And I want to say true because I like the animation. And then I'll hit the tab key to go to this last one. And completion um, is a function that will be called on when, you know, the view controller is finished presenting this view controller here. Okay, so when this one is, is done presenting this one, right, when it's done animating onto the screen, then it'll call this function for us. And so if we needed to do some code, like after the thing appeared on the screen, we could do it here. And this is in a funny format because this can be a block of code rather than just a variable name or something, right? Um, but it could be a variable name also. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to put nil there, and that means nothing, right? So I'm, I'm going to, essentially I'm saying like, we don't have anything you know, to run on completion. Okay, so there we go. So now uh, we created an alert view and we're going to present the alert view here. Okay.
So uh, let's give it a test. I'll click um, play and and there's our, our app and now I'll click the city button and my alert view shows up. Okay, so the alert view um, is just a simple box here and there's no buttons and there's no text field. We'll have to add those. Okay, so we can customize this alert view. Um, but I'll do that in another video just to keep things simple. So this is our basic idea there. To um, create an alert view, we're going to make a new UI alert controller. And then we're going to present that controller with present view controller. Okay.